Hey, Zach here. I want to talk to you right now about how to attract your perfect prospects in network marketing. Sorry for the mess and the echo. We just moved, but I figured you wanted to see this video. So first and foremost, you are going to need to sell through funnels. Okay, now I'm not going to get into this right now. I'll get into this at the end of the video, because if you're watching this, you probably already know to sell through funnels. But just in case you don't, I'll go through that at the end. Uh, everything else besides selling through funnels is a gigantic waste of time. Now, first thing we need to know is you need to understand polarization. Okay, here's what this means in a nutshell. You need to target a person very specifically in order to get a lot of traction with your network marketing prospecting. What do I mean by that? I mean that you need to have a very, very clear, perfect rep that you want to put on your team, a perfect customer that you want to join your team. When you define that perfect rep, that perfect customer, I'm going to show you how to do this here right now because it's not going to be some hokey pokey bull crap that you've heard before. When you do that, number one, you'll actually build your team with people that you want to build with. And more importantly, or just as importantly, I should say, is your marketing, meaning the people that you attract into your business, are going to look at you as the authority in your business before they get in and when they get in. So here's what we need to do. We need to double target, okay? We're going to double target. Now, here's what I mean by that. We're going to choose a area, okay, an area or a, a group of people that you relate to that we can layer with something else. So the first layer that you're all going to probably have is home-based business people. Now, these are people that are already interested in a home-based business, okay? We don't want those freezing cold people, all right? Getting someone freezing cold to warm up to you is, or excuse me, to warm up the, to the idea of home-based business or network marketing is very expensive. Let someone else do that. Listen, you can do your own Google keyword research. I've showed you how to do it in other videos. It's very simple. But you can, there is, there is hundreds of thousands of people searching for home-based business related items in the United States alone every single month. You don't need to be the person to get the freezing cold person that has nothing to do with home-based business or network marketing. You don't need to be the guy to warm that person up to the idea. That is a very expensive endeavor. You don't want to play that game. Trust me, I played the game for eight years. You don't want to play the game. Okay, so we know that the first of the two is going to be home-based business. These are people that have already expressed an interest in home-based business or network marketing, all right? So that means that you're going to have very little of the, is it a pyramid scam question? You shouldn't get that very much when you have this as your first target because these people are already open to the idea or they're, they've already been researching the idea or maybe they've been in a company at some point in their past. Number two, we are going to layer a target that you have a specific set of knowledge around. And this might even be someone that you were or someone that you are. So as an example, you can do military. Now, this target's already being used very heavily. However, you can do military-owned home-based business. So a friend of ours, his brand, don't steal this, by the way, because you'll get smoked, is military to millions. All right, he's a seven-figure earner. He's a, a veteran. He's a, he was an army captain. And so he double targets this. So again, I wouldn't take this one because you'd have to go compete against him. And it's probably not going to be that fun for you. But what else could you do? Well, we've got another example of dog moms and home-based business. All right. Now, that's pretty accessible, isn't it? Literally, this gal loves her dogs. She loves her dogs. And She's like, well, I think there's a lot of dog moms out there that really love the dogs and would rather spend the time with the dogs than going to work. So she created this ta double target. I'm going to tell you another word for this. It's called Blue Ocean. She created this Blue Ocean for herself because there's a lot of people targeting the home-based business category, isn't it? There's a lot of people that are already targeting those people. But there's not a lot of people that are tar targeting dog moms that are already interested in home-based business, are there? You could do... Uh, you could do single dads, you know, single dads and home-based business. You can see that there is a ton of different opportunities here. Now, what you want to do is direct all of your advertising, all of your messaging, all of your everything to that one specific group of people. So the way that you're probably going to, you know, uh, reference these people is, hey, dog moms, right? 
or hey, single dads, and you will brand yourself as the go-to de facto authority for helping single dads break free of the rat race or helping dog moms spend time at home with their dogs versus going and working at nine to five. Does this make sense? So you put all of your targeting to this group of people. Now, what you will do by that is you will create a polarizing concept. You will create a polarization between dog moms and everyone else. Now, I know what most network marketers think because they haven't been taught how to market is, well, you lose out on all of the people that don't fall into that category, and I'm trying to cast an open net and get everyone. That's the dumbest thing in the history of marketing. Okay, marketers can't do that. You're a marketer. You can't do that either. Here's the very, very cool part about polarization or about a blue ocean. Two things happen. The first thing is you become an authority with your niche. So assuming that your niche is big enough, and you do have to do, you have to check to make sure there's not like five people in your niche, but there's most likely not. So as long as your niche is big enough, you're not like targeting the most weird freaking thing in the entire world, like, you know, eucalyptus, you know, hobbyists that are interested in, you know, the third most exciting form of, you know, freaking, I don't know. You, you, you get it, right? The, you, as long as your target is big enough, those people in that target will listen to you before they'll listen to someone else, like a Dave Ramsey or whoever, right? Just pick a name. Because they're like, well, you know, Dave Ramsey's cool. This person's cool. But John really gets me because he's also a single dad and he's done it or he's doing it. So you have way more authority with those people than literally everyone else. That's number one. Number two, as long as you pick a target that's, again, not this weird thing, there's plenty of people in that target audience to build your business with. Number three, and this is very cool, when you are highly polarizing, what will actually happen is you will attract people from outside your target as well. Now, should you bank on that? No, but does it happen? It does. If you're a wide open target, you actually attract no one. If you try to appeal to everyone, you ultimately attract no one or you really get the leftovers of the people who followed this concept. Three, I lost my pen, there it is, three. You need to create an offer, an offer that they feel dumb saying no to, okay? You need to create an offer these people feel stupid saying no to. So what I mean by that is you have to create an opportunity, a all-encompassing opportunity that these people desperately want just when they hear the offer. Now, you do that by making your overall opportunity more attractive than your MLM by itself. So I've gone over this concept in many other videos before. You can watch some other videos on this. But essentially, here's what you're going to do. When you are in your network marketing company, All you have to offer is your MLM and the compensation structure that they offer and their products and whatever, and yourself, and maybe your outline and whatever. Okay, listen, all that stuff is not that sexy. So you need to add something to it, right? The whole like MLM and you and your upline, that whole like offer right there is really not that enticing to someone that you don't know. And that's why it's so expensive or it takes so long to get lots of reps on your team because the offer is not that good. So what you need to do is create a all-encompassing offer. This is your offer, okay? An all-encompassing offer that adds some sex appeal to it that people want to join and more importantly, that they feel dumb saying no to, all right? So MLM and we're gonna call it a system of growth right now. Now, a system of growth is what it sounds like. It is a system that when applied to the MLM company allows that person to grow the team effectively. Now, again, you cannot twist. If you need to justify the system of growth to people, your your offer isn't sexy, okay? So like having a video that your upline made or your company made is not a system. Um, You know, adding people to a group, tagging them and messaging them is not not a system either that people are going to flock to, all right? Uh, Stalking people on Facebook is not a system that anyone's going to flock to. Hotel meetings, no one's flocking to that. You need to create a system of growth that people want to be a part of naturally. And then in fact, they even feel dumb not joining it. You don't do that by justifying it. You do that by doing the really difficult work of creating a very, very sexy offer to the dog moms that you are targeting. Does this make sense? 
So I'll tell you first and foremost that these are some of the hardest parts of doing this. Figuring out a target can take a while. Figuring out an offer can take a while, but if you do the really hard work to figure out these two things, everything else in building your business actually becomes pretty darn simple because you took the time on these two things. Number four, you're going to sell through funnels. You're going to enroll people through funnels. Okay, you're not going to do any of the stuff I just made fun of a second ago. You are going to run advertising. You're gonna run ads. You're gonna run it through a funnel. Okay, so at a minimum, you're gonna do an application funnel. All right, so basically you're going to run ads, you're going to get people to come into your world, you're going to get them excited about being a free dog mom, and then you're going to have them fill out an application to work with you, and when they do, you're going to sign them up in your MLM and your system of growth. With the system of growth, you're going to charge a separate amount of money that goes directly to you. The purpose of that is to pay off the advertising, and secondly, to give you an upfront commission so that you can go full-time faster. I go over all of this in a lot more depth in like a jillion other videos on this channel. You can go check those out. So with that, this is how you find your perfect prospect. Do not fall for the lie that you can appeal to everyone. You can't, all right? You're a network marketer. Network marketers have to market. So with that, guys, if you found value in this video, leave a comment down below. Let me know that you did. It lets me to make more videos like this. If you liked it, leave a like. With that, we appreciate you. Consider subscribing. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks so much.